two identical charge spheres suspended from a common point by two massless strings of length l are initially at distance d apart because of their mutual repulsion see both are identical and they have same charge so they will repel each other so what is the repulsive force between them it is k q square by d square if they are d square if if they are d distance apart if they are at a x distance apart then here it is k q square by x square so this is the repulsive force acting on this charge along left side right the charge begin to leak from both the spheres at a constant rate now due to some mechanism this the charge is leaking from the sphere so as the charge reduces as the charge reduces the repulsive force decreases and when the repulsive force decreases this two spheres will move towards each other okay because the repulsive repulsion decreases as a result the sphere approach each other with a velocity v so they are moving with velocity v but this velocity is not constant right because at all the point the charge decreases so repulsive force decreases so as the force decreases means variable force variable force means a variable acceleration and variable acceleration means variable velocity right so here its velocity varies as a function of distance and how it varies that we have to find now here what is happening the electrostatic force as discussed earlier it is acting towards left side on this sphere which is given by kq square by x square and also the gravitational force is acting downward which is mg and here in this thread due to this two forces a tension t is developed this tension t if i assume here angle theta then here will be angle theta so this tension t has two component one is t cos theta vertically upward and another t sin theta which is uh, in the horizontal direction towards right side or along the x axis so here we can say that t cos theta is balanced by mg and the electrostatic force is balanced by t sin theta so here t sin theta is equals to kq square by x square which is the electrostatic force and t cos theta is equals to mg so if we take ratio then this t and t will get cancelled sin theta by cos theta is 10 theta which is equals to kq square by x square mg okay so this is one of the expression that we have to remember 10 theta is equals to kq square by x square mg now if we assume this uh, now for this figure as per the question it is given that some highlight is given in the question d is very very less than l means the separation between these two charges is actual separation is very less okay in that case this angle theta is very small and for small angles we can assume sin theta is equals to tan theta for small angles we can assume sin theta equals to tan theta or tan theta equals to sin theta so sin theta is equals to if you see this figure then sin theta sin theta is equals to oppo by hypo so what is opposite here opposite is x by 2 and what is hypotenuse here hypotenuse is l so it is x by 2l so we can write sin theta is equals to x by 2l and this sin theta for small angle is equals to tan theta so now we have two expression tan theta is equals to x by 2l and tan theta is equals to this so we can put this Uh, on lhs and rhs side so x by 2l is equals to this expression kq square by x square mg so we make q square as a subject so q square is equals to x cube because x here this will go here k will go here and mg will also go up so it is x cube mg by 2l k so see why we are doing this because we first we will find uh, the time rate of leaking of charge it's at per coulomb or per second how much coulomb is leaking and that we will relate to distance okay so here uh, q is uh, so if you make here so what we see here mass of the sphere is constant g is constant length of the string is constant coulomb constant is a constant and 2 is also constant so we can say that q square is proportional to x cube q square is proportional to x cube or we can write on uh, a square root on both the side then q is proportional to x raised to 3 by 2 okay so instead of all this constant what i have done here so q is proportional to x raised to 3 by 2 i have multiplied this term by a constant so i can remove proportionality sign so q is equals to some constant into x raised to 3 by 2 now differentiating q is equals to c into x raised to 3 by 2 is right c c constant as it is so we are not considering constant here so it is dq by dt so here power 3 by 2 will come down so it is 3 by 2 then x raised to 1 by 2 but the differentiation of x is remaining okay so it is dx by dt right now we have this expression okay this what i have shown here we have this expression right now uh, we can also write this 3 by 2 3 by 2 x raised to 1 by 2 is nothing but root x and dx by dt is the velocity and that what we want so again uh, we are rewriting this expression here now here dq by dt is constant because it is given in the question that the charge is leaking at a constant rate which is given in the question so dq by dt is constant so we can directly write it as v is equals to 2 by 3 1 by root x 
means we can write that v is proportional to 1 by root x and that is nothing 1 by root x is nothing but x raised to minus 1 by 2. So the correct option is option A.